Hi friends, so we will continue with our video series Artificial Intelligence in Gaming. Today I will give you an introduction to Unity Engine and how a scene is created in Unity Engine. So in the last video I had mentioned that the examples which we are going to create while learning the Artificial Intelligence in Gaming will be created using the Unity Game Engine. So, uh, it is very important that uh, you are familiar with how a um, scene is created using Unity. Uh, so, let us start with uh, the Unity and we will see how a scene is created using the same. Okay, so let us start. I am going to start a new Unity project. So, when you select Unity and click on the new uh, project then you will get a window like this there uh, you can select the location which you want to save this project and in the project name I can give the name of the unity project which uh, I am creating give the name like my uh, first uh, unity game okay then uh, in the template you can give uh, 2D, 3D, 3D with extras. We have a number of options right now. So I will go with 3D. Then go to create project. Then when you click on the uh, create project, it will uh, download the uh, packages which is required for developing this uh, project. So when you open the unity you can see that we have different windows so these windows are used to develop uh, this unity game and i will just briefly explain what is the use of these uh, windows okay so when you talk about this unity interface the main windows you can see here is the hierarchy window you can see here as the hierarchy window, then scene view, game view, then inspector window, the uh, project window, then the you can see the console window also. So in the hierarchy window, whatever the assets we are going to use to develop this game, that is, uh, you can see here in the hierarchy window. So when we open a new project, you can see that by default there are two uh, assets are there. One is the main camera and the next one is the directional light. The main use of the project window is storing the assets which you are going to use in the project. So it is not necessary that whatever assets you are, you are going to store in the uh, project window, you need to use that in the project. It is not necessary that you have to use all the assets which uh, you store in the project window. Whatever we are going to place in the scene view that you can see in the hierarchy window also. Next, what is a scene view? The scene view is where we do all the work. Okay, so when uh, we uh, want to place the our environment, when we want to place the player, enemy, whatever it is, we are going to work in the scene view. And then we have the game view. Game view is the our final output. Like how we are going to see the game from the user's perspective that is what is displayed in the game view. When you are developing a game you will be working with the scene view and when you want to see your output you can use the game view. The inspector view. Inspector view is that when you select a particular asset, any asset then you can see the properties of that particular asset in the inspector window. Okay, so uh, when you select on this camera, for example, 
when you select that you can see all the properties of that camera in the inspector window like transform then the properties related to that camera if you want to create a particular asset then i will go to see so just for example i will create one asset you can see a create tab here just to click on create then you can see a lot of uh, assets which you can create so uh, here i will go to one asset uh, section that is 3d objects so in this 3d object you can see i have different types of 3d objects which i can create like cube sphere capsule cylinder plane like that you can just to go to create then go to 3d object then select plane so when you select plane you can see that a plane is created on the scene view you can see a one plane is created which i am going to use in my project uh, when i created this plane you can see that in the scene view as well as in the hierarchy window also uh, when i select this plane you can see that i am getting the properties of that particular plane in the inspector window so when i selected the main camera you can see that i got the properties of the camera and when i selected the plane i am getting the properties of the plane and if you want to change the name of the plane also you can do it using here in the inspector you can change the name so i am going to change the name of the plane to ground then i just entered the name as ground and press enter so you can see that i uh, my the name of the plane is changed to ground so here you can see that there are three axes x axis y axis and z axis okay so this is uh, like you know i am creating a 3d game right now so in 2d games you have two axes that is uh, one is x axis the other one is the y axis because that there is only Uh, with the length and height there there is no width when you, you are going for uh, 2d games but in the 3d games there are three dimensions so uh, that there is a thickness factor also so you can uh, just to give there will be three axes there one is x then y and z so when you select a ground when you go to their properties you can see that we have what is the position of that plane okay so that is you can see in the x axis it is zero then y axis it is zero then z axis it is zero so it is placed on the center you can see that this is the rotation is also zero values and scale is in the its original scale scale value 1 so when you select the game view you can see that this is how it is going to see when i publish this as a game so when user downloads my game this is going to see he is going to see like this okay so if you want to change the uh, how this is view then you can work with the main camera so when you are working with a, a 3d game so whatever you are seeing that is through the cam so when we work with uh, 2d games like in flash you don't have to work with the camera there is no concept of camera there you can directly work on the scene and you can publish that so whatever you are working there it will be visible when you publish that game but when you work with a 3d games you are going to work with the camera so whatever is visible through the camera that is going to be visible in the game also so you can see that in the in the 3d games your eyes are the camera so select the main camera so you can work with both the scene view or 
the game view. So when you work with the select or scene, you can see the camera view on the right from below right corner. Okay. So I am going to change the y value here. Okay, you can just change the y value. So you can see that I am increasing the y value so the camera is moving up and according to that you can change see how the camera preview is changing so you can see that now i have moved to a place where i can comfortably see that plane what is going on there in the plane when you go to the game view this is how my game is going to look now go back to the scene view i have created a ground now just to go to create and the 3d object i am going to create a cube there position is in the 0 0 0 and if you want you can change the name so i am going to create four walls there okay so i will just give the name as wall so i will give this name as wall one when i change the name in the inspector thus it is the name is already changed in the hierarchy window also. Right now my this cube is in the zero position. So you can just use your the mouse wheel also to move towards or away from that particular object. So if you press the alt and move you can see that it is the half of that cube is in the is not visible because it is going going under that plane. I will bring it to the top. So for that I can give the y value as 1. So you can see that it is now moving a little bit upright. Huh? So you can just move it down the way how much you want. So I will give the value as 0 0.5. Uh, I want to uh, just scale this so that uh, it will fill that Okay, ground. So you can just use the scale tool. Okay, so just click on the scale tool, and here now you can see that the it is the instead of that arrow, it, uh, uh, we have the rectangle edges there. So you can just click and drag this. So you can see that I am just moving this. So while I am moving, you can see that the scale is changing in the vector window also. So you can just move this and uh, here I will just give the value as 10. Okay. I have the wall right now. I will just give a little bit height to that scale. Then I can just move this in the Y. Then I will just give the Y as 3. Now what I am going to see is that now I will see how it is going in the looking at the game view okay so you can see that it is not going it is not looking proper when you go with the game view make some changes in the color okay so now right now it is white ground is also white and my wall is also white so i will make some changes so for that i will give one new thing that is i will go to create and i will create a material there so in this material, I will just give the name as ground material, okay, ground mat. I will go to this color picker and just select that. And here I will just give the pick the color which I want to give to that particular material. Okay, so you can just select this um, green color and just close this. Okay, so the uh, my material is called the color of green right now. So go to ground, select the ground, then here you can see that I have the materials drop down there. Then just to select my ground mat and place that in the element zero. Material is changed for the ground. Right now I have one wall right now. I will create two more. Okay, so for that you don't have to create uh, from the scratch right now i will just go to duplicate so you can see that when i select that duplicate i got a, a new the duplicate of that wall one change the name of wall one to wall two 
In same way, I will create one more duplicate of that wall and I will give that name as wall 3. Right now, I got three walls now, wall 1, wall 2 and wall 3. So, I just created the duplicate, so it is just created on top of the previous one. So, I will select the wall 2 and I will just click and drag it. And my wall 3 also, I want to place it. Okay, so for that, if I want to place it on the uh, the other side, you have to rotate that. Okay, so for rotating, I can use my this rotate values just to go to uh, change that y axis value. Okay, so you can see that I can rotate this and just to give the value as 90. Then you move it. I am getting this one. Then you can just to scale that ground also right now so just to change this to z value that is i'm going to give it as two right now. okay then i have to move this wall here okay then i will move this wall here so this way you can uh, make the changes while you are working with the, that assets okay just to go through the different views so that you are satisfied with the, the work you have done so i will go to my game so it is not uh, the um, camera is not placed properly so what i will do is that i will just select the main camera so you can see that my main camera is placed here i will just move here. you can see that right now i am i have created uh, like a ground and walls surrounding that here when I select the directional light you can see the properties of that light there okay so if you want to change the color of the light also you can change this color of the light direction light is like a sun you can just if you want to uh, light up the entire scene you can use the direction light and you can uh, change the intensity so there are different uh, properties which uh, you can adjust for that particular light but if you want to create your own assets you, you want to use your assets uh, which you created using 3d max or blender or any other or maya or any other 3d software then you can create those assets in those software and import that into unity 3d so for that what you can do is that you can go to this projects uh, window and go to this assets folder select this assets folder then right click on that go to show in explorer okay. so when you go to show in explorer you can see that i am getting this in the inside that particular folder then just double click on that assets okay so in this assets you can and paste the uh, assets which you created so i am i have copied these two assets which i am going to use so when you uh, after copied that and when you come back to unity you can see that it is getting imported and here I in the assets folder I am getting these two assets which I am going to use for this. So these three two assets I downloaded from the asset store. Okay. So if you want to uh, create a game of your own, you can always use the uh, free assets from the uh, Unity asset store. Okay, and if you uh, like a particular assets, you have to pay that, then you have to, you can purchase that from the asset store also. So there are a lot of uh, assets here, can, here you can see that which is available in the asset store and uh, some are free and some are uh, pay, you have paid. That you can just click and drag it on the stage or you can click and drag it on to the hierarchy. Okay. So here you can see that I have uh, you created the Spartan King right now and I have placed that in the hierarchy but you can see that this is uh, the size is very big compared to my ground. 
So you can, you can just change the tail value here, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. So when you go to my game view, you can see that I have a Spartan King that who is standing on that ground, which is surrounded by the walls. Most of the games you can see, uh, there is some UI elements there, like uh, what is the score, then what will be the time. Okay, so how to create that? Okay, so that is what I am going to show you next. So for that, uh, you have to create user uh, UI elements. But for creating user interface, you can go to UI. So you can here you can see that we have text, image, button, toggle. So we have a lot of UI elements there. So right now I am going to use the UI element of text. Okay, so you can just click on text. So you can use the so see that when I uh, created the text, one canvas is automatically created. So for creating the UI elements in, in Unity, you need to have the canvas. Okay, so uh, just to go uh, understand that it is like a canvas where you draw everything. Then I will just to give the name as a time text. Okay, so this is my time. And for that I am just giving it as one. Now if you want to change the font size also you can change these properties. Okay, you can see that text properties there. And by default we have the font called Arial there. And if you want to use your own uh, font, you can download that. Okay, then font style I will give it as bold. Okay, and if you want to change the color for the text also, you can change this. Okay, so I can just to go for this yellow. Okay. I'm just to go for this yellow color. So I am just giving it as a uh, time. Then I, uh, if you want, I can just uh, duplicate that. If Okay, so here I will just give it as time. Then I will just move this to the left. Go to time. I am duplicating that. Okay, then I am just going to give it as uh, score by two. Okay, so I'm just going uh, to change the name as uh, score. Okay. Then after that I can move this. The same way, I am uh, going to create a duplicate value of that. Then I will just give it as score value. Just giving it as when I am starting, I will give this value as zero. Then I will just change this to so. So you can see that uh, in this uh, time text, I have started with the value of one uh, five fifty. Then in the score, I am going to get the value of a zero. But when the game progresses, the score changes to one, two, three, four, like that. And time is also changes. 150 will become 149, 148, like that. So how you are going to change that? So that for that, we are going to use programming to change this value. Okay, so this is just I, I have. I created the user interface for that particular game. Then I saved that. Then after that, if you want to uh, publish that, you can see when you go to build setting, you can see that the, the some of the platforms which I can use to publish this. Okay. So here you can see that I have PC. Then we have Android. We have iOS, WebGL, Facebook. So we have different uh, platforms are available where you can publish this. So uh, by default we have it is like a PC. Then you can uh, publish that to the if you want to publish that to that particular platform, you can go to build. There you can uh, create a new folder like uh, exe. Okay. Select folder and it will be. 
publishing that to to that particular folder first unity came double click on that okay so here you can see i am having my first uh, exe so you can see that it is i have my uh, character and what is the time and what is the score right now okay so we are to work in the ui so that is why it is showing in this place instead of in the left hand corner and the right hand corner so we have to uh, do some work on that but now i hope you understood how a scene is created so i hope now you got an idea of how a scene is created in unity so i hope you enjoyed this video Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.